Tension remains high as people talk in groups or even singly following a report by NBS Investigates in which a Macau University don, Dr. Suizen Chomhendo, is accused of exchanging sex for marks with a female student. So should I call you when I reach the reception again when you are know, over here and just straight? Okay. Acting Principal Professor Joseph Inahichire has now written to Dr. Chomuhendo, giving him two days to give his side of the story. The letter comes in the wake of reports on social media with allegations that the said lecturer had tendered in his resignation. Sources that preferred anonymity told NBS that he is believed to have resigned on Sunday via WhatsApp and not formally before the story aired on NBS TV on Monday. This after he made fruitless attempts to cause NBS give him footage and the necessary documentation in regard to the investigation. For some time now, higher institutions of learning have been soiled by allegations of staff approaching students for sex for marks. Last night, Raymond Mujuni's investigative story brought to light some of these allegations at the Institution of Higher Learning in Uganda's oldest university. However, this has remained a consistent challenge, not just at Makere, but all higher institutions of learning. How exactly will this vice be addressed? It is a systemic challenge. A systemic challenge because a number of universities, a number of higher education institutions, a number of learning institutions uh, have not had, for instance, a policy on what kind of uh, lecturer, what kind of educator they are recruiting in. But the vice chancellor says he is determined to fight the vice. There are several measures that we are taking. One is we are reinvigorating the sexual harassment committees. We have got the Central Sexual Harassment Committee, which is the committee of Senate, which I chair. Uh, but we also have unit sexual harassment committees. So you will have a committee at departmental level, a committee at school level, a committee at uh, uh, college level. For culprits court, what course of action is taken towards them? Depending on the severity of the offense, other, of, other sanctions can be used, including suspension for a period of time uh, and the uh, Demanding an apology from the person is a, another one. Giving a stern warning is also one of the sanctions. But the most severe one is total dismissal from the university. Isabella Tugume, NBS, live at 9.